And we're here at IPTC, we're on the Baker Hughes stand, and joining me now, of course, is the chairman and CEO of Baker Hughes. We're absolutely thrilled Lorenzo Simonelli joins me. Thank you so much, Lorenzo, for taking the time. Very, very busy here. Talk to me a little bit about here we are, the start of a new year, a new decade. Where do you see the industry at the moment? So look, I still feel good about the industry, and uh, the important thing is energy is vital for the world economy, and it's vital in the future decades. When you look at the growing population, you look at the growing needs for the middle class, energy is going to be continuing to be at the center and forefront. Clearly, we have areas that we need to continue to improve, but I'm positive about the oil and gas industry, and I think we've got a great opportunity to really change the narrative as we look at the 2020 and beyond on the way in which we're a vital part of the global economy. Now, of course, at IPTC, it's all about technology, and you must be right at home here. I see you're very busy. You've got some interesting new technology on board here. Tell me a little bit about, you know, particularly what you're doing here this week and, um, you know, how that technology is driving the industry. I think technology is the answer as we take the energy industry forward. And when you think about climate change, you think about CO2, you think about safe, reliable, productive energy, the way we get there is by technology. Here at the booth of Baker Hughes, we're showcasing the way in which we're reducing the CO2 footprint. We're increasing the productivity. We're actually introducing digital capabilities so as to drive down non-productive time. And it just goes to show how we can continue to contemporize, modernize the industry, and also the importance that the kingdom has relative to the global energy play. And I'm just very pleased that IPTC is a showcase for technology and the way in which we continue to evolve the industry going forward. Now, when we look at the investment community, we really need to change the narrative. We need to get more people interested in this industry because it's going to be here for a while and they need us. The world needs a mixture of carbohydrates right now. It needs everything it's got and to meet that new population demand, the population growth that's coming here. How do we actually you know, bring more people perhaps to the table to have this a better holistic discussion? Well, I, I mentioned it yesterday on a panel, and I think uh, we're the industry that uh, many like to hate, yet we're actually essential to the globe. And I think we've got to take on the discussion and actually have a much better education around the benefit that gas can play in the energy transition, the way in which we can actually reduce the CO2 footprint. We've got capabilities, and at the end of the day, we're part of the energy mix, and we're going to be part of also the solution to bring down the CO2 footprint. We've got to be out there and we've actually got to engage with many more people and start to educate much better about what we're doing and be at the forefront versus taking a step back. Talk to me about being in Saudi Arabia. It's lovely to see you in the Middle East. You have a huge presence here. We see you often here. But ITPC, for the first time here in Saudi Arabia, this is a huge deal and indeed a huge conference and exhibition. It is, and I think uh, it will be the home of IPTC every two years. And I think under the um, actual showcase of Saudi Aramco and also the sponsorship of Saudi Aramco, it's the prominent place to be to showcase new technology. Uh, we've just celebrated here a 70% Saudiization. This is a major presence for us. We've got over 3,000 employees. And look, when you think about the energy resource of both oil, gas, this is a location that is very productive, very essential to the globe, and I think attracting a lot of attention. So it's great to be here, and we're strong supporters of IPTC.